It's Jason Abraham, the shadow teacher. And recently I've done videos quite a bit on manifestation. Moving towards one's goals, bringing one's dreams from the ether into this third dimensional physical reality. And much of that, because it's something I'm exploring my own understanding of and deepening my own understanding of this concept of manifestation. And whenever you, you dive into deep esoteric truths, you're confronted with the limitations of your own programming. And one of the limitations I've been confronted with is this idea that to be a competent manifester, you're always manifesting what you want, regardless of what is going on in the stars or in the rest of the world or your own environment. This is sort of the, the crush it every day programming that has been instilled in many of us, definitely many of us in the in the Western world. And what I find is this type of programming, it is something that simply breeds frustration and disappointment. And when we continue to do the same things over and over again, even though they're not working, and we're hoping we're going to get a different result, isn't that the definition of insanity? And unfortunately, I believe there's many insane people on this planet who don't realize it. And one of my personal quests is to restore sanity to my own being, to be aware of my own insanity, where I spin in circles, and I'm going against the law of how things are in this existence as I know it, and to learn how things are and, and change and shift. So, with astrology, again, this is an occult science that I do not practice myself. I do know others who practice evolutionary astrology and are very competent in it, and they were called to, to study in-depthly uh, where I was not, but again, I do believe that the real science, there's something to it, being under, a, able to build a relationship with the stars and, and planets and the alignment of planets and stars with your own time of when you came into the, this world and being able to to essentially launch big events in your life and, and time up with the stars and then also on the flip side being a, being aware of when the stars are not going to be in alignment with the favor of what you want to manifest and choose the best way to go with that time so again I've had readings done, but astrology is not a discipline that I practice in and have enough understanding to speak in-depthly of. But I can say, there's, again, there's something to this idea. And my background, again, is a, one of my real-world, 3D world backgrounds is a, is a martial artist. And I, you know, I, I fought on a very low level as well. And in fighting, being a competent fighter, the purpose, again, it's the same as manifestation in that you are there to enforce your will on your opponent. You are there to enforce your will on them. And a great fighter is always, you know, f first and foremost, is you're there to do that and you're, you're reading, you're, you're looking for that opening of how to strike efficiently and effectively, but you are always throwing that jab out there. You're always 
working for that opening. If you see it immediately, you go for it. You go in for the kill. A great fighter uh, is confident, and when they see their opening, they, they go for it. But at the same time, a great fighter can also read what's going on. If, if their initial intention, their initial strategy does not work, if they're getting counterattacked or if their opponent throws a surprise, they're able to adapt and redirect and essentially stay in the flow with staying all that intention. But sometimes they have to go on defense and go for a counterattack when an aggressive attack is not working. So in our life, again, in manifestation, what I, what I look at is and how I am, am feeling that is when I have thrown my jabs out there, when I have put my intentions out there and I'm following through with my actions and I, I may hit a wall, I may hit a point where I'm feeling diminished returns and it, it's past that wall of where it's simply I, I'm not getting that instant results. I understand manifestation is usually not going to be an instant process, even though that can happen. But I've hit, I've hit that wall to where I'm engaged in my daily actions, but not getting the result. And I'm feeling my personal energy start to diminish. So the quality of my daily actions are starting to diminish as well. And I look at this as information. This is information that I need to modify what I'm doing because when I'm feeling this diminished state in myself, that is an energy leak. I am now leaking energy. I'm now no longer in a state. If I continue on the same course of action as I'm doing it, then eventually I will be depleted and my chance of success and my goal and what I seek to manifest is going to greatly diminish. So, when I'm feeling this on this intuitive level, what I'm going to do is reassess and look at what are things that I, that I can hold back on. How can I pull my energy and concentrate it more effectively so that I'm not leaking so much at this time? What are the things that I need to do to redirect that energy? And what practices can I build in my life that rebuild my energy when this thing I'm moving towards doesn't seem to be getting any closer, but yet it's still important to me. So, simply, again, feeling this out, and usually it's, when I feel this myself, I find others in the world, there's something in the stars and there's something in the seasons. Again, we're coming into the season of winter, and the energy of winter is to withdraw, to go within. It's the, the energy to let things die that need to die so something else can be reborn. But that process of letting things die, letting things wither, and letting go of them, sometimes that's not easy for people. And that is what I find I'm called to do in this moment, is to assess what do I need to let go of because it's leaking energy for me and pulling me off the probability of achieving the meaningful goal of my hero's journey in this moment. So, I'm going to leave you with that. Throwing a lot out there. But it all comes down to effectively using energy, understanding the process, the, the macro process of manifestation, putting something out into the universe, initiating with your actions and your intentions, and feeling what's coming back to you. When you have something that's pushing you forward and you have that abundance of energy, it's very easy to keep moving forward. But being able to read on how to effectively re-engage energetically when, when that's not happening and you're actually getting the opposite, when you're getting diminished energy, what do you do to still move towards that goal of manifestation 
when your energy is diminished? How do you redirect? That is the focus of all of this. What do you need to reassess? What do you need to change? What do you need to let die in this season of wither? Be strong, be well, my friends, and I will see you on the other side.